Today I'm coming in with the ultimate guide for Mob of the Dead. This one will refresh you if you have just started playing Mob again on PC, PS3, Xbox 360 or on Xbox One with Black Ops 2 backwards compatible and it will be very useful soon in Black Ops 3 Zombies as well. So refresh yourself right now and in this one I will show you the best and easy way to do Pop Goes the Weasel Easter Egg in Mob of the Dead solo and co-op and basically all the Easter Egg steps are the same except you get one extra step if you are playing co-op which is about killing killing Weasel at the end. So if you do want to party up with someone, definitely drop your PSN gamer tags and Steam IDs in the comments, reply to each other and go from there. I will also show you how to get the Golden Spork, all 5 skulls, free Blundergat, how to pack punch, how to upgrade the Tomahawk and get the Hell's Redeemer, all the plane parts location, acid get kit, the zombie shield and the good thing is that everything intertwines with each other and with the easter egg as well, as well the Golden Spork, I will show you that as well. and you can get everything done in less than an hour depending on how fast you can do it and we're gonna start right now. Hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it. If you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing for daily videos like this one and let's kick this off. Now when you start up definitely let all the zombies come out, grab double points, shoot 8 times in the leg of zombies with the M1911, you know how that goes right and knife them one at a time and leave the last one alive, that is very important though. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to get the keys and there are two locations where the keys can spawn in and that's why you need about 2k points so you can do everything on round one. Not everything but this step on round one. It's either going to be hanging outside the spawn or you may need to open another door. Wherever the keys are make sure you open this door and we need to collect the keys now as well do the laundry step and get one of the plane part. Remember choose two of your afterlife. Uh, you can use three if you need to but it's prefer that you only use two because you can do more with extra lives early on. Now first of all come up in here shock that shit like you have never shocked anything before and the door to the showers room will be now opened. Also make sure you open this little cell block where double points are. Now go ahead and get yourself the keys either they will be here or on the other side just get them wherever they are get them and go down to the showers open this locked door with the keys you just obtained. Now you need to provide power for the this as well. So go in afterlife, turn that shit on and go around and open stuff that you know you can. For example, cell blocks, the speed cola room, etc. And then revive yourself when you're ready, turn on the laundry and now there will be a couple of zombies that will start spawning in. If you're on round 1, there won't be any Brutus but he can spawn in if you're on round 2 or playing co-op so do keep that in mind. Also try to not kill any zombies, just gather all of them up, kill them if you need to, collect the part and get out of this area, grab yourself the double points from the cell block and start knifing zombies. Now keep in mind there's a high probability of multiple drops to spawn in and one of them can be nuked. So uh, you don't want that, you don't want to F up your strategy so try and back up every time you knife zombies. Kill zombies till double points go away and now what you want to do is you want to make your way over to one of the dog spawn and we're going to go near the spawn room one and you need to feed him about 6 to 7 zombies so definitely take your time and the good thing is that you have done a lot on round one. After you finish him off, go to the infirmary, there will be another door uh, or I should say another dog and there are some parts location and you can pick all these parts up and like I said everything intertwines with each other and that's why I love Mob of the Dead. But anyways I don't pick any part up because I want to show them all together and I will show you right now basically everything really really fast and it will refresh your memory. So we're going to start from the plane parts. Remember you also need to refuel the plane so these parts are going to be in the same location just a little bit around but the first part is going to be in the shower the second one in the infirmary beneath rooftop that's where the second dog will spawn in the third one is near speed cola for which you need to shock three generators in afterlife near docks the fourth one is the ropes and for this you need to go in afterlife and put three numbers in that you can see when you're going down put those numbers in and now you will have a countdown timer and you need to go down and open the door and get the ropes. You won't need to do the second time for the refueling part though. It will be just near where you put the numbers in by shocking it and just around it there will be three generators that you need to shock for the part that I showed you earlier which is near speed cola and you only need to do this once as well. And the last one is near docks. You need to shock that too and these are all the plane parts. Now let's move on with the shield parts and the first one you can find is right here which is really damn good. You can basically do what I'm about to show you while 
while you are trying to open up the map and do the strike steps and everything like that. The next one will be in the room where you need to shock the three gens. It's going to be in this room and you can see where I'm shooting at. That's where it's going to be. The last part is just outside here. It's going to be in the corner or here in the corner where you go to collect the ropes part or up there in the corner somewhere around here. And you can build the shield anywhere you want to. But I recommend you build in cafeteria because that's a good training room. Next up is the acid gad kit. We got three parts for it. The, the first one we're looking for is the briefcase and that will be outside the spawn room on the table right here. If it's not here, it's going to be outside the showers right here or on the flip side. And once you get it, go straight up to the speed cola room or the warden's room. And here we got another part and we have three locations for it once again. Basically where I'm shooting at, that's where it's going to be. Pick that part up and now we are going to go to the infirmary and you need to pick the last part which is going to be the acid part which can be on the table right here or on the table near the bathtub or in another room in the corner right here. Pick that up, build it wherever you want to but I would recommend you build near electric cherry. That's where I find it to work best for me. And now we're gonna come back to feeding the dog step. There are three more things I will show you but you need the house retriever tomahawk first and you get it by feeding three dogs. So finish them here. Go to the dogs by taking the gondola. There will be one more down here. Make sure you finish them off as well. Make sure you are making points. Get jug. Get all the parts like I showed you earlier. All the locations and everything like that. Get the tommy gun. Really really good for points. And after that get yourself the house retriever tomahawk. Now first of all you need to collect five blue skulls and this will also give you a free blender get which will appear in the warden's office on the table next to speed cola. This is going to be the free one. Now if you are looking to have two blender gets make sure to not pick it up till you get one out of the box but you need one blender get for the easter egg so the first skull will be outside the spawn right here. The next one will be where the free blender gets going to spawn in near speed cola. The next two are going to be at the docks. One will be here near the hidden cheeky little PhD flopper and one will be above here near Juggernog. And the last one will be on the rooftop. Now make sure you also get some kills with your Tomahawk Hell's Retriever. You need more than 15 kills. Try and get 20 kills just to be safe and now you want to fly out to the Golden Gate Bridge. To do the Easter egg you need to fly out three times in total. So once you're here for the first time survive one full round. Make sure it's a new and fresh round. Just accidentally or purposely start a new round just to be safe. Survive the whole round and kill the zombies and Brutus with only your house retriever tomahawk and you will hear a laughing sound cue which means you've done it and also pack a punch is going to be here if you did not know now go on the electric chair spawn back throw your tomahawk in the lava pit and it will suck it in and now you need to be on the next round to do the easter egg step which to get which is to get all the fuel parts again and next round you can also go pick up your upgraded house retriever which is now going to be called the house redeemer now go in afterlife simply pick that shit up there you go you have it now go pick all the plane parts and once you do we're going to now get ourselves the golden spork now to do this first you need to get the upgraded house redeemer which you now do come up in here throw that on the poster and now there will be a door or portal that will be open for you and you need to be in afterlife and go in there and shock the spoon it will disappear go in cafeteria right after that and throw your house redeemer tomahawk on the spoon which is behind the cafeteria and you will hear Brutus laughing or just saying DLC 5 confirm <laughs> I'm joking but you will hear him and now all you need to do is go to the bath in infirmary hold square or X if you're on Xbox or F if you're on PC that's what I'm assuming hold whatever the button is and you will see the spoon in the bath and finally you need your acid get blunder get doesn't need to be papped or anything like that but go in the showers room get some kills with it only with the acid get blunder get like doesn't need to be papped once again but you need to get a couple of kills I guess about 30 kills but get kills till you hear a laugh and go back to the bath and voila you now got the golden spork which is sick now for the easter egg fly out to the bridge again spawn back again go for one more round collect all the parts again fly again for the third time spawn back in and now you need to go put some numbers in downstairs in afterlife mode there are four sets of number you can easily put two sets at a time but sometimes the afterlife mode glitches out and it drains instantly it happens to me a couple of times it's really frustrating so keep that in mind but the numbers you need to put are 101 872 
486 and 481. After that, there will be some headset that will start spawning in. Simply go on them, listen to what they have to say. They're like, DLC5, DLC5. I I'm just kidding. It will say something. Just listen to the history, basically. The screen will turn black and white every time you pick one of these up, and you need to make your way to the rooftop. So definitely do that. And if you are playing solo, you have done the Easter egg right here. It's finished. You've done it. Congo. But if you are playing co-op, everyone needs to go in afterlife and take the plane and fly out to the bridge. You do not need to get all the parts or the plane parts again. Once you are in afterlife, the plane will be visible. Take it and now you just need to go on the bridge and kill Weasel. He will have a ton of health so keep that in mind. 